We're always looking for innovation in medicine, like using the body's own healing ability for a number of disorders. Dr. Bill Johnson of Innovations in Medical is here uh, to talk about one of the most exciting innovations in medicine today, and that is stem cell. Good morning. Good morning. Happy to have you. Okay, first we have to uh, let everybody know what are stem cells, what do they do? Well, stem cells are the cells in our body that do almost all the healing. When we have injury, whether by uh, accident or disease, white blood cells, antibodies come into the injured area and they clean up the dead cells, get rid of any infection. But doing that, they set up inflammation. You know, things get red, swollen, they hurt. And that's part of what the white blood cells do. Now, when the stem cells see that happening, they are called, attracted into that area. They produce the new cells we need to heal and then they shut down the inflammation. So they do both sides. They, all, they produce the healing mm. and they also shut down the inflammation. Some areas like cartilage don't have good access. So you, bought, you injure a cartilage, you really can't heal it very well and the inflammation keeps going because stem cells aren't there to shut it off. So tell me again, what can stem cells do in the healing process that regular cells cannot? Well, stem cells have two very special characteristics. One, a stem cell can produce many more stem cells. So if, instead of being just one, it can, be, it can become many. Okay. But the other things they can do, if this is a fat stem cell, it can become a muscle stem cell and go become a muscle. Or it can become a nerve and go become a nerve. Or it could be a lung, for example, become lung cells. So they have the ability to produce more of themselves and they have the ability to become other types of cells. That's why they can heal so many different areas. And it gives you many options and many ways to help people who might be in pain. Where are we getting these stem cells? Well, stem cells in when we're using them for treatment like we're talking about are you can get them from someone else okay. in which case they're usually cord blood or sometimes placental cells and the issue with with getting someone else's is when it's your cell it fits real nicely but when it's someone else's cell it doesn't necessarily fit as well and so the results are are less consistent. We just don't see the kind of consistency in treatment results that we see. The other thing we can do is though is get your own cells. And the two areas that we see that we get our own cells are fat and bone marrow. And the difference between fat and bone marrow is when we're getting bone marrow, we get very small numbers. Mm -hmm. When we get fat, we get many many times, about a thousand times as many cells for each one cell of bone marrow. Huh. So that's why a lot of us think that fat's going to be a real way to make stem cells work in the future because we get so many more from a harvest. Okay, you ready for a loaded question here? How do the stem cells work? Well, the, those very things that those white blood cells and, and antibodies that go into the injury release factors called growth factors that attract the stem cells. They tell them to come and help. Not only do they call them to the area, but they tell them what to do. So that's really why when we inject an IV, it goes where we want. We also put the cells sometimes in the joints or in the nerves and areas that we know they're needed. Okay, stem cells, they seem, they are very fascinating, but how do they know where to go and when they're there, what to do? Well, that's all from the inflammation, all the things that those white blood cells and antibodies are telling them, they're releasing the information. They're telling the stem cells, come see us, and they're telling the stem cells, here's what we need. They're inviting and them then in. the stem cells turn around and tell them to shut down when the stem cells are, are done and that's a real important feature because so many diseases are caused by ongoing inflammation that won't shut off stem cells can help shut that inflammation off this is great we're using our own body to improve a healing process but on that what kind of disorders are stem cells helping well we're doing a lot with osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis okay. we have 85 90 percent success rates with those disorders because they're so inflammatory where you do a lot of COPD patients and we can really help with that. Sports injuries are a gray area and some things like tendon pulls, muscle pulls, we can really help and speed up recovery. Okay, this is all good information to know. And I know we could, I could give you the whole hour to really dive into how fascinating and how wonderful stem cells are, but if if you can relate to any of these disorders that Dr. Bill just mentioned, you want to give them a call to inquire more and find out more information. Here's the number, 214-972-0353. Also, you can go to their website. It's innovationstemcellcenter.com.